Hi, thanks so much for subscribing to my stuff. Um, okay, so I'm going to answer a couple of questions here. Uh, I have downloaded the newest version of GIMP. That means we're on the same page here. And uh, I'm going to create from start your first, the first bottle cap graphic by going to File and then creating new, a new image. And we're going to make it 300 by 300 because that is approximately what a one inch uh, prints to. Um, you also have advanced options in here, I see, and you can um, create the background to be a particular color or transparent. I'm going to go with white. Everything else I usually leave default. I'm going to press OK and you're going to get your little square right smack in the middle. There you go. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is open and open as a layer. I'm going to go ahead and find the image that I want to add inside. Uh, purposely, I am choosing an image that is larger than the 300, 300 square that I'm trying to create. So you see what it looks like. Okay, it's far bigger. So what I need to do is choose the scale uh, button, which I'm a little lost of where it, not that one. And, um, okay, there it is. And we are going to scale the image, click on the image to open up that little box here. This is new, I don't remember this, I don't know. You choose 300 by 300 to scale your image down into the box, um, but it doesn't work the first time and I don't know why, so we're going to try again, just in case you run into the same problem. You can also drag with the little corner boxes and fit it into the square that you need. Make some little minor adjustments over here and I'm going to unlock or lock that. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm a little bit lost. Sorry, hope that the air conditioner isn't too loud. <laughs> it's picking up sound. Okay, so 300 by 300, click OK and my image is set. There's also this movable tool where you can move it around if it's not centered, but it looks pretty centered to me right about there. Okay, so uh, some of you have also asked me that the picture is getting cut off when you hole punch it or cut it out or something. Uh, so we are going to try to fix that problem by going back to the um, scale tool and clicking back on the image and resizing it to 275 by 275 or you can also make it smaller if depending on your project so 275 just for this sake I'll make it 275 now and we press OK and the image is smaller than the original background we'll use the move tool and center 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 there you go. And I have noticed that to save a file like this with multiple layers is very weird to save it as a JPEG because it asks you to save it as a GIMP project. But um, to do that, you have to go to File and you have to go to Export, I believe it is. Um, yeah kind of hard to see because my video recording software is really crappy. Okay, and then you go into whatever folder it is that you want to save it on and type in the name of the image that you would like to save it as. This one is going to be called blackimage2.jpg.jpg. I don't usually like to use spaces in my file names. Yeah, it's a webmaster thing. Okay, you also have options in here when it comes to saving it. Again, I leave everything default. I don't like to screw with things too much. And then there it is. You have your one inch JPEG with a little bit of space, a little edge there. And okay, I will be doing my next video in just a few. Thanks so much for watching.